Christian Security Network has made name for themselves, especially since they allegedly revealed the activities and operation across the eastern Nigeria. Nobody has a clear conclusion of their intentions across the southeast of Nigeria except their pronounced objective and goal, which they claimed was to protect and secure the southeast of Nigeria from the unknown. Their apparent actions have called the attention of the military who reacted by deploying surveillance helicopters and gun trucks in search of their location in the country, but no authentic result has been obtained yet. A viral video has shown them in action, testing their locally made rockets, propelled grenade, burning down the huts of the Fulani group and also protecting a farmland. They also unveiled their locally manufactured weapon and guns after they warned any vigilante group aiming to attack them. The Eastern Security Network have disclosed their recruitment process and their members' nationality, which they claimed was more, which was from Europe, Asia, and America. <clears throat> and were some members of the Eastern Security Network in an undisclosed location. With what has been said, with the numbers of recruits and members, the military are yet to give a feedback on their operation about the location of the Eastern Security Network in Nigeria. Therefore, uh, these are six possible outcomes of the military de deployment against the Eastern Security Network. The first one is the ESN operation may lead to security crisis in the Southeast, especially if the military dictates their activities. Secondly, proximity of social crisis and political turmoil. The, the military might realize their, that their presence and activities is overhyped or even a propaganda. The fourth reason is the likelihood of military and civilian clash in the affected areas. The fifth is that possible uprising ends Innocent lives will be affected in the area. And six, a divided southeast may result from the intense interference of the military. Okay, so if really that the army really wants to go after them, these are the possible six possible things that could really happen. In the first place, why should they be looked for? Why would they be looking there? What are they looking there for? That what they have done what? I don't understand why they should be searching for them because that means they are looking for problems and from the testimony that we have gotten the people in that zone have come out to tell us that at least the farmers that they can go to their farm places without fear or any form of harassment and yet it is not a good thing but areas where people are lamenting crying day and night lives lives are being lost they are not going there they are supposed to concentrate the, in that place. I think uh, to a very large extent, they should even be thanking them because what what they are supposed to be doing, even the police in that area, what they are supposed to be doing, all that group have been doing it without even being paid. Without even being paid. But now as it is, now you can see all over the place now, especially the southeast and southwest. At least there is a relative uh, a quietness in south-south and, you know, a fair one at a... Uh, middle beds but in the north oh my goodness is something is something different at all but at least from southwest and southeast they are trying to hold on to their region they are trying to hold on to their, their region but from the southwest we have not been hearing any form of uh, intimidation or people crying unlike before so it is even a, a a way of even appreciating them in the first place if really everyone is working towards peace everyone is working towards development Everyone is working towards a great nation that we all desire. They should even be thanking them because because they have done some part of their job. Looking for them, it is not a, <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to uh, uh, bring anything at the end of the day. If not, they just want to cause problem. Why can't you really let the sleeping dog to lie? Recently, we saw a video posted by iPop saying that uh, these people came to spy them and they left their cars, and from the from what was being said in that video that they were exchanging fire which the people took off and since then 
You know, some people say, oh, forget it. It's a lie. It is a lie. No. Uh, maybe some some influential people just came to that area and they just left it. No police uses that kind of car. Up to today, they have not debunked it. It's, it's going, I think it's going to over a week now, or close to one week. They have not said anything. Even when they told us that it was only when the army took all their whatever to that place, they didn't tell us whether they were they saw them or not. It was even the police that came to tell us that it was just a mere propaganda that there's nothing like that anywhere. But not until when we saw some two cars or some two um, police cars. Some people say it is not a police car. So if it is not a police car, so what is it? And they have not debunked it either. Well, I love my country, Biafra. That is what someone is saying. An Eastern Security Network. The military should go and face Boko Haram and leave Eastern Security Network alone. They should go and take back their barracks that was taken over by Buhari's, Buhari's forces, Boko Haram. They are all criminals and fools from the pits of hell. Thank you, Mr. Man. The truth is that they, they say is always bitter. They know the truth, but their hatred for the South Eastern people will never allow them leave us alone. Stop searching those that are not searching for you. Go to the Northeast and search for the Boko Haram that are searching for you. Leave the innocent Eastern Security Network alone. These people are not after government. They are after. They are there to protect their farmland and exactly and their farmers from being killed. And like I said, we've been hearing testimonies, good ones, good ones at that. So why are soldiers still looking for them? It therefore means there is an agenda yet to be unfolded. Fulani Esme are carrying guns about and nobody challenges them. They are not even looking for them. They are not looking for them. That is the worst part of it. They are not even looking for them. Instead, they are making excuses for them. You can imagine monas coming out to make excuses for them. That uh, oh, uh, it is a, <coughs> it is a amotekun that is, is killing them, killing police people. You can imagine such a thing. You can imagine such a thing. But their people are being killed. They are not making excuses. They are not even defending their own people. But they say they are going to provide safety. You know, like what Allah said, provide safety for the for the Amotek, for the so-called Mieti um, Allah and the Esme. But your people that are crying, the farmers that are crying every day, you have never called on government to protect and secure them. So it's just unfortunate that they are looking for those who are not looking for them. The people that you are looking for, they have taken part of your job. They have even relieved you of many troubles that you you ought to have gone through because you didn't even do it in the first place. So they are continuous searching for them. It's not gonna it's not gonna help them either.